What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Today I'm going to be using a new soap to the den, one that I won at the East Coast Wet Shapers meetup this year, the virtual meetup, and it is SMG's Gunslinger. This soap was made by John Romanoff, a fellow wet shaver and YouTuber. I'll link his uh, channel in the description below. Yeah, I won that at the virtual um, meetup. The brush I'm going to be using today is an AP Shave Coat brush with a maggard uh, super high density knot there. The scent is a leather scent, a very, very sweet leather scent. Scent strength off the puck is uh, mid range. So let me tell you about the meetup. I didn't attend it. <laughs> I actually had something going on. It was on a Saturday evening and I um, um, had something else going on and I couldn't attend it. And they did a raffle and giveaway. They also did a goodie bag. They mailed everything out. Um, so I won this and I also won a razor, a DE razor, which I'll um, shave with in my next video. Um, so yeah, I won, this was one of the soaps that I won in the raffle, which is really, really cool of the group to, um, even though I didn't attend, still draw my name and then, um, you know, consider me a winner even though I wasn't there. So thank you uh, to East Coast Wet Shavers for being so generous. All right, got a good healthy load and a brush. Yeah, the scent is nice. I don't think John sells these soaps, like on a, on, on a website or anything. So I'm not sure if this is tallow. I'm guessing it's a tallow. It feels like a tallow, it looks like a tallow right now from, you know, just lathering it up. There's no scent notes available. I just know it's a leather because I have another leather scented soap and it smells very much like a leather. I should have uh, actually reached out to John and asked him, but I, I'm willing to bet that this is a leather and it's very sweet. It's really, really nice. And the artwork on the label, let me show you this again. That's really, really, really cool. This has got to be my most favorite uh, um, label um, that I've seen so far. Really, really, really cool. Just put a little more water in this and we're good to go. That is good to go. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is well. Hope everybody is having wonderful shaves and an awesome weekend so far. Here is a photo of uh, some of the things that I got in my goodie bag. So the razor that I'm going to be using tonight is my Feather Artist Club. I just got this back in the mail. I lent it out to Doug Bear to use for a few weeks and he really enjoyed it. It is my favorite razor. The blade that I have in here is a Kai Captain Pink Titan Mild, I believe is what it's called. The blade itself is pretty mild. It's not like the Feather Professional blades at all. So if you're looking for something with a little more of a mild edge, this would work out pretty nicely for you, I think. I'm actually curious to see how many shaves I'm gonna be able to get out of this blade. So this is shave number two on this blade. So I'm going to actually try to keep track of it this time. Yeah, the blade is nice and smooth. Really, really nice and smooth.
Very nice. And I'm really, really digging the scent. The scent is really, really, really nice. And when it's all lathered up like this, it still stays mid-range. It doesn't decrease or increase in scent strength, at least to my nose. This uh, Maggard brush here, or Maggard brush, it's a AP Shave Coat brush. This Maggard knot is awesome. This is my favorite Badger brush so far. I have three. This one, and I have a Parker Badger brush, and then I got a Yaki High Mountain Silver Tip brush that I really, really enjoy. The knots on both the Parker and the, um, the Yaki are definitely not as dense as this. They're a little more floppier, but perform very well. This knot is unbelievable, at least in my opinion. And the tips are gelled, so it's not super hard on your face, or harsh on your face, it's not really scritchy. It is, it is when it's dry. And once you get the brush wet, it's really not that scritchy at all. Not like the other two brushes I have. If that's something you don't enjoy. I actually like a scritchy brush. The scritch doesn't bother me at all. It probably wouldn't be something I'd like to use every day if I was a daily shaver. I'd probably use a synthetic brush if I was a daily shaver. But I do like a little scritch. I shave maybe once or twice a week. Hence the reason why I don't really make too many videos, is usually I just shave once a week, and at the most twice. Yeah, I skipped the, I skipped the with the green pass on my mustache now. I just do an against, or a cross green. It gets me pretty close, and it's just easier to uh, get my mustache from that angle. Before, when I would do my with the grain pass, I'd get a lot of pulling and tugging. And before I thought it was the razor. I thought maybe the razor needed a new edge. So I sent a couple of my razors out to get rehoned. And when I got them back with a fresh edge on it, it was still pulling and tugging, even with my chevette. So I figured it was just because the hair is so dense right here and thick, but maybe it's just when I start out it pulls a little bit. And once I get it started it goes, it, uh, it's real smooth. So that's why I changed my technique and do just two uh, cross the grain passes and it gets me really, really smooth. Um, probably smoother than when I, the, when I used to do it the original way. All right, that looks really good. Feels nice, good enough for me. Gonna finish the shave off here with some English leather. I don't have a leather forward um, aftershave splash. English leather to me doesn't smell like leather. Eh, maybe kind of, but not like a strong leather like in some of the shave soaps that I have. But it pairs nice, pairs, pairs pretty nice with this. So English leather and I'm gonna finish off my shave with a Zingari Man Balm here, unscented. And that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Great shave. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Catch you again soon for another shave.